Hello, I just want to take you round this show we've just opened of a husband and wife um, team, Tadaki Kuwama and Rakuko Naito. They met um, in Tokyo in the 50s, got married in 1958, and they decided to go to New York, which was really quite a brave step to make without really any idea how it was going to pan out. Kuwama was very lucky to run into Dick Bellamy, who was running the then very famous Green Gallery. He told me an amusing story about that. The reason why later the paintings were sort of into four sections, because one of the shows early on he did, he painted the painting in the gallery. And of course, what you forget is you get something in, you stretch it, and then how do you get it out when it's bigger than the doorway? So um, soon after that, he realized unless he was going to destroy all his work, he'd have to make them into four. So you have here the start of making four separate canvases um, held together by an aluminium stretch, well, part of the frame. Um, these early works often used tape, paint and tape, and there's a tremendous feeling, you know, you, you feel Zen and all the rest. Their house, their house in New York, which is right in the middle of midtown Manhattan, in fact, a few years ago when there was a bombing, was a block away, but you wouldn't have known, and the outside the trucks are screeching, and you go inside, and it's absolute perfect um, peace, quiet, with a sort of religious atmosphere. And the whole of the show, I think, uh, has that feeling of um, serenity. Um, his wife, Naito, uh, works primarily with paper, and which is a, again a sort of part of a Japanese culture. So they still have, although they've been living in America for 65 years, you do understand that the Asian presence has never left them. Like they say, you can take the boy out of Texas, but you can't take Texas out of the boy. So I think this is very much what their work is about. I remember when I first came across uh, to Darkey's work was at an art expo fair in Chicago a number of years ago. Tim Hill from um, Detroit had a handful of them on his stand. And uh, Paul from Borzo, who was showing with us at the time, and we went over, and we really were intrigued and loved the work. And I think we bought about four works from him then. And then from there on, we met Tadaki in New York, and we arranged a show back here at the gallery, and Paul did a show in Amsterdam. And so that's where it all started. Here, you know, there is this tape and paint over it. And it's as if, you know, you can see rain um, drops coming down. You could be looking out of a, a, a window at night um, and in a horrible, wet, cold, dark night. But there's such beauty. It just, um, they don't reproduce because of the, the surface is so beautiful. Then here we have the first of her work. This is rolled paper made in, so you have a sort of feeling of um, Eva Hess, 
Kuwama. Um, the, you know, the, again, just peace. So, Rakuku and Aito, um, when we met Tadaki in his studio in Manhattan, we of course met Raito at the time, and we were very excited by her work as well. And Paul went on to show the two of them together in Amsterdam. And so last year, we thought we'd seen these very early works. And so we wanted to do that. And then Paul suggested, which we thought was a brilliant idea, to show the two of them together, hence this show. Here, this is less tape, um, but then there's a um, bottom strip of silver, and then again, the paint coming down. and breathe it all in. It's then this is sort of weaved in and out by her. Then this is sort of a foil to the black one, the white tape going in, and now it's only two panels. Then this sort of makes a nice diptych. The two whites, it's sort of, it's hard to say much more about them, just except, you know, you might, this could be waves, this could be looking out to sea. And there's a very pretty little red one where you, you've got the drips again and two bits of panel. These are, you know, most of the paintings are 1961. So you have the green, the, some of this tape, um, slightly um, there's a sort of Manzoni look to this one with all these and it'll has coming out. This is cotton buds, but maybe rat's tails. <laughs> then this, here again you have this marvelous drips, and then the gold leaf with the drips coming through. This is with sort of bronze with um, the tapes. Again, from 61. Then we have a four of her work with one of his in the middle, which I think you may, you, if you forget, Cut the two outside ones on you. We have a, a very beautiful triptych. And here again, this surface is, is pure, this is more sort of Reinhardt esque. But then you have the, the gold at the bottom. The thing is really just to. We'll try and zoom into the, the paperwork because I think it makes, you can understand it. It's very calm. I think the whole story, the whole show is about calmness. This is slightly um, different, but again, 61 weather. 
the, although it's not tape, but it's um, been um, shampered or whatever, so that the, they go off. And then again, this is extraordinary with the sort of, you've almost got a sort of Jasper Johns target there, a white target. And this one is from 1963, where um, you feel there's tape, but there isn't the paint. Um, is painted as if it was was tape. Then we have three, two by her, and, and the gold one there, which is you know. They're all I think some of her work is quite Manzoni and others is sort of more um, American with Eva Hess, as I say, and other artists like that. And this one is just very plain silver with the one line, whereas the gold one was in segments of six. And then this little silver one is really extraordinary. You've got the idea of the tape being, and then the four and, and being taped. Um, I think it says it all, it's small but beautiful. And these sort of little flower buds coming out. I think we just should have a, a slow um, zoom round the room just to get the idea of the of the point of the show, the, the whole sort of religious feeling to it. Not not an oppressive religion. It's a marvelous room just to contemplate in and cleanse your mind of the noise and bustle outside. I do hope if you're in London you have a chance to see the show. It'll be on till the end of May. Thank you very much.